hi guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing a quite different video um i'm gonna do like a little get ready with me because my life is i don't want to be dramatic and say it's a mess but i don't know where it's going so um yeah i'm gonna have this little get ready with me and then i'm gonna talk to you guys while i do this little get ready with me so first things first i'm gonna start doing my edges and then i'm gonna move up to my brows and so on and so forth so usually i just take a fine tooth comb and if you see me looking over here i'm like looking in my mirror so yeah that's all so i'm just pulling out my baby hairs and i actually did my knotless finished doing my knotless braids yesterday so if they look a little stiff i did not put them in hot water or anything yet so don't come for me please don't come for me and i am not ready for school to start because i don't have energy to wake up at 5 a.m in the morning or sit in class for like hours and only get a 30 minute break and leave and go home at three and have homework and be exhausted. I'm just not ready for that type of life right now. <clears throat> um, I don't think anyone can ever be ready for that life, but what can you do? So, all I'm doing over here is just putting the edge control onto my edges. And I'm gonna do like a swoop style for my edges. This is so hard. Like for me, let me do this. I'm just gonna keep swooping. This is not an edges tutorial, by the way. Although I'm kind of making it look like one because I'm spreading it on the And I always like use my got to be on top for extra hold. If I just use the edge control alone, it is not gonna hold all day. And by the way, for this get ready with me, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just at home. After this, I'm just going to chill. Nothing major and do nothing much. It is, it is hot. I know I've probably said that more than five times, but it's really, really hot. Thursday and then I tell you I was so sick during that period from Thursday to Sunday I was really sick I couldn't even get up properly do what I wanted properly I lost all appetite I was just going through it like so I didn't really get to feel the pain of my nose ring getting done and I had mine I know you guys are gonna like say girl you should have not had it done like that but I don't got money to have it done you know 
with a needle. So I had a dot of the gum and it was like a pinch, it didn't hurt that much. And I was cleaning it constantly and I still do clean it constantly with a with the saline solution. And yeah, it's fine. It's fine, but I was so sick. I felt so bad, but now I I am so so much better. <laughs> um, and one thing that happened for the last past days, like have you guys ever had a dream about something and it actually comes true, but like it's a nightmare? <laughs> like I had, I kept on having this, these nightmares that my nose ring was about to pop off when I when I was asleep, and it actually did happen. It popped off on Wednesday night and on Thursday night and I was like so terrified because I thought my nose ring or nose stud let me rather say my nose stud wouldn't fit into my into the hole but it still fit it still fits um today again today's Friday it came out when I was sleeping so I was like you know what Let's let's put that screw thing, I don't know what it's called, to secure this nose stud because I didn't have like a thing to secure it when I first got my nose stud. There was nothing there to secure it. She didn't the lady who pierced me didn't put anything to secure it and that's a good thing because like if she put a stud and this the swelling and everything would have just been a mess. So I didn't have it done. So today I just decided okay I'm gonna put myself this screw thing underneath the stud guys i don't know what it's called i think it's called a screw i don't know and yeah it's securing itself well it's healing well it's been only a week and one day because i got my nose pierced last week thursday so it's been healing well it's not really painful or anything like that However, I bought like a smaller stud because this stud is really big in my opinion. Um, probably not for a lot of people, they'd be fine with this type of stud, but this stud is really big for me. And I want a smaller stud because it looks cuter. It looks so much cuter with this smaller stud. So I got myself a smaller stud from this store called La Visa. And they had a nice sale and I really like their jewelry because of the quality of their jewelry and this is obviously not sponsored. Um, I'm a small channel so don't think I'll be getting sponsorships anytime soon unless my channel grows. Um, yeah and I really don't feel like going back to school because school starts on Wednesday and today's Friday so next week Wednesday that's when school starts and I am horrified to go back to school just the trauma of waking my body up in the morning is like so traumatic like I don't know how I can how do people survive it every time I don't know how I survived it every time waking up so early having a full day like a full day of school of work it's like every kid's nightmare i so don't want to go back to school but i have to it's not like i have a choice and i can just sit home and relax i have to go back to school so yeah i don't know how i'm going to survive going back to school because Again, I really, really, really don't want to go back to school, but I have to. <laughs> I have to. And I'm really excited for the new year. Like, this video is not, like, planned on any topic, but I'm really excited for the new year, what it has to hold. I don't have high expectations. I don't do, um... What's this thing called? Like goals or I okay, I'd be lying. I do do goals, but not big goals that I know I cannot accomplish. Like because 
ever since 2020, when, you know, a certain pandemic era came, um, life has been different for, you know, everybody. And I just told myself, you know what? Mm -mm. I had way too many high expectations for, for that year. And that's not happening ever again. I'm just going to have general expectations for a year, you know, just, just that everything goes well. I have good grades, I pass well, I have a good time, and that's about it. That's the type of goals I want for my year. I know a lot of you might say that's a bit sad, that it's not that big. Obviously, I have personal goals um, <clears throat> that I don't really want to share on the internet right now, but yeah. I just hope this year goes well. I do not hope, I hope it actually takes its time because each and every year seems to fly by. And yesterday I was watching this movie that was basically about how we don't notice the little things in life and how we don't enjoy the little things in life and it is true we're so always um, focused on the future worried about oops <laughs> worried about the future we don't really see the present enjoy what's in the present and what's in the now we're always worried about oh my god am I gonna have a job am I gonna pass am I gonna this am I gonna that and like it's normal to worry about the future it is it really is normal and i'm not saying you should just sit there and not try and plan your future or worry about your future obviously you should like you you really should worry about your future but sometimes you need to like enjoy the present and what the present has for you and to be honest I don't enjoy the, pr the present at all. I'm an overthinker. I overthink a lot. So my mind's always 10 years ahead, five years ahead. It's never in the present. And um, I would like that to change. I would like to enjoy a few things of the present because we don't enjoy the present that much. And we really need to focus on you know sometimes enjoying the present and all i'm gonna do is just wrap my um uh, head with a scarf to secure it um yeah and then i'm going to move on to doing my brows i don't do anything special for my brows by the way i just add some gel and brush them up and that's it <laughs> um Um, I don't know if I'm going to edit this and make this like speed up some parts, maybe I will, maybe I won't, we'll see. Um, so I have a little toothbrush over here, um, it's, it's not the cleanest, but um, it does the trick and then I still use my got to be to kind of like do my brows, so what I do is like I just brush them up first without any gel or anything. And then I'm going to add some gel onto them. And then I'm gonna start brushing them up. And I'm so sorry if you guys can't, you can't see um, but the mirror is like so low I should have put it higher but it is what it is so you guys see what difference it has already obviously I'm not leaving it like this um, but you can see what it, the gel kind of does for the brow compared to this one so I'm just gonna shape it and now you can see the difference and guys my skin oh my god I don't know if you guys can notice but I'm having a bad heat rash 
during the summertime my skin doesn't necessarily break out but I have the worst heat rash ever like it's so sad because I am not used to things foreign things on oh my face I know pimples and rashes are not foreign but like for me it is it is quite foreign because I all my life I've had clear skin and I'm not trying to say this to like brag or like trying to make anyone who does not have clear skin feel bad um, but I've always had clear skin so I know nothing but clear skin and it is bugging me and worrying me that my skin is having this heat rash like I'm very concerned. <laughs> I'm really concerned that my skin has this bad heat rash. And I know maybe people are gonna advise water. I drink water on a daily. I probably drink about two to three liters a day of water, and that's kind of equivalent to a gallon of water, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, I do drink water. <laughs> What is all I drink? I barely drink any fizzy drinks or any juice. Barely, like barely drink. It's literally once in, in a few months that I will be drinking juice or a fizzy drink. Okay. This is what my brows are looking like. I hope I don't look too crazy because, um, <clears throat> The light in this room is really blinding my eyes. So my last step for this little get ready with me or little rod rag session um, is some lip gloss. And I actually made this. Um, I used some Vaseline, eyeshadow, yeah, and coconut oil. And then I made this little um, lip gloss it has this little um, cooling and soothing effect to it so I need to just look in the mirror to make sure it's looking all good so yeah I think that's about it um i don't know if my hair is done sitting or not but i think i want to do like a little style or not no i don't think i want to do a style i'm just gonna leave it in this little pony tail if it's visible um i think i'm gonna take my scarf down now because I think it's been five minutes or so um, so yeah let me just take it down if it's not dry or set uh, okay this is what it looks like let me just look in the mirror if it does not have any white residue because it got to be does leave some residue sometimes and here we go um it's a little get ready with me and i think i am done with the look everything came out nice um i wasn't doing any makeup or anything um special i was just trying to glam up a little bit even though i'm at home and i hope you guys have a lovely year lovely week lovely day lovely month um i wish you guys all the best because we all kind of need we all need good vibes good energy because this is gonna be a long year um to be honest i'm not ready like i said in the beginning of the video but what can I do? Time doesn't wait for anyone. 
Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And comment down below any video ideas that you guys want me to do. Um, any type of video ideas. Um, just leave a comment down below. Like this video, comment anything you wanted, if you related to anything I was talking about. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.